Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to set up Replit, which is the site that you can use as your programming environment where you can write and submit your code for all the lab assignments in this class. So I'm going to just give you an overview of what Replit is. Uh, so Replit is an online, easy to use browser based IDE. So an IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and you can just think of that as something like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, which are essentially just tools that make writing English easier because they have handy little things like autocorrect or spell check or grammar check. Um, IDEs are essentially editors like Google Docs, but for programming, because they have tools that make writing in different programming languages like C++ a lot easier. So for Replit in particular, you got some basic tools like the text editor to uh, make changes to your files and the console, aka the terminal, which is where you'll be able to type in commands to build and test your code. And there's a bunch more features that Replit has, like a UI that makes uploading code to GitHub really easy, and also live collaborative coding, which is kind of like having multiple people working on the same Google Doc except for the same um, project or coding assignment. So I'm going to just walk you through all the different steps that you're going to need to do to set up your Replit account. And then I'll show you how to import your lab assignments into the Replit IDE um, for lab one. Now, this is the same process that you'll be able to follow. So you can follow these same steps for all of the remaining labs in this class if you do choose to use Replit as your um, means of programming. So to get started with signing up for Replit, you'll navigate to replit.com. So you'll see a page that looks like this. You can click sign up or log in at the top right. And then you'll have the option to log into your account. Um, do you select the continue with GitHub option so that uh, since by now you should have already set up your GitHub account and signed in. So when you click continue with GitHub, you won't need to um, sign in with or like set up an account with uh, a new user or password, you can just like automatically log in directly with your GitHub account. The first time that you do this, I might ask you to install and authorize GitHub or um, Replit for your GitHub account. So in case it does, uh, just make sure you select all repositories and then click on install and authorize. So once you've done that, it'll navigate you to the Replit homepage. So from here, you'll be able to create new REPLs where uh, you can essentially create like projects for your code. Um, so we'll go over the steps in a little bit on how you can do that for your lab assignments. Uh, but I'll just quickly show you what the um, Replit IDE looks like. So on the left hand side, you'll have the file explorer, where you'll be able to navigate between the different files that we give you as part of your lab assignments. And in the center here, you got your text editor where you can make changes to your files. And on the right hand side, you got your terminal or your console where you'll be typing in commands um, to build or test your code or um, any script commands, bash commands to uh, kind of manip manipulate uh, files within your directories. Now, this is very customizable. This is what's pretty cool about Replit. You can change the color scheme. We have a dark color scheme here. And I think most people, uh, including me, prefer like the dark color scheme. But you can change that if you'd like. Uh, and you can also kind of move around the different windows if you prefer um, your text editor or your terminal or file explorer in kind of a different configuration. So it's pretty customizable. OK, so I'm going to just show you real quick how you can set up your first REPL. So somewhere down here later in the slides, we provide you a link to accept a um, GitHub Classroom uh, assignment. Um, and this is the same way that you're going to be accepting any assignment for the rest of the class. Essentially, we give you a GitHub Classroom link, and you'll be able to accept the assignment. Uh, so you might see something like this uh, for one of your assignments for this week is the treasure hunt. Uh, and then you can click accept this assignment. Um, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you um, the Replit setup with your lab one assignment, which you'll do after your treasure hunt. So um, I've already accepted the lab one assignment. And uh, once you accept it, like after this page, uh, it'll navigate you to a page that says that it'll create you a repository. Uh, it'll create a new GitHub repository for you every time you accept an assignment. Um, and once you refresh that page, you can navigate to that repository. So once you do that, you'll have a repository that looks like this, where it has all the different files that we've provided for you as part of your lab assignment. Um, so what you're going to want to do is um, 
to get started on coding your lab assignment, you're going to want to create a REPL so that you can work on the files in your uh, lab. So essentially, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in just like I showed you on the slides. I'm going to log in here uh, and then I'm going to click continue with GitHub so that it logs in with uh, the GitHub account that I have set up already. And then you can see I'm at the home page and I'm going to click on the create blue button right here. Uh, and when you click on that, um, what you're going to want to do is select import from GitHub right here. When you click import from GitHub, this will allow you to kind of link your um, GitHub repository that was generated for you via the GitHub classroom link. So if you go back to your GitHub repository that was created for you, you can click on this big green code button. And when you do that, uh, this pop up will show you this link. This link right here is your repository link, and you, you'll just want to copy that link. And that's what you're going to paste into the GitHub URL section of this import from GitHub here in Replit. So once you do that, you can click on import from GitHub. Now, if it is showing you an error, then most likely it's because your GitHub student developer wasn't set up. So go ahead and watch the previous video or review the slides on how to set up your GitHub student developer pack because if you don't have that set up, then you might not be able to import a GitHub repository in Replit, or at least one that's private, and we need it to be private for this class. So once that's all set up, you'll want to just click on Import from GitHub. So you'll want to give it a moment, but you can kind of see the UI here in the background. You got the file explorer on the left-hand side where you're going to see the prob01 folder. Um, that will have um, one of the questions for this assignment. In this case, there's only one, but in other lab assignments, you ha might have more than one. So they will all live in uh, their corresponding problem folders. The first thing that you can do is just click on the README. Um, and one cool tip is that instead of like looking at the raw README code within the text editor here, you can actually click on Open Preview here. And if you click on Open Preview, it will show you a more beautiful version of this markdown uh, that's formatted a little bit nicer. And then you'll be able to kind of open up your code on the text editor part of your REPL um, so that you can read the instructions while also writing code um, in your text editor at the same time. Cool. So that is uh, an overview of the UI. Um, I'm going to show you another cool tip that is useful here. So I'll just make a um, a new file right here, test.cc. So one cool tip for um, developing in C++ that we've added for you just to help you make your code look a little bit nicer. So if I write um, a line of code here, and then I write another line of code that is kind of like formatted improperly because you know we don't want this indentation here. So what you can do on um, Max is just do Command S, which is kind of like the save. If you do Command S, you'll see at the bottom right here, let me do it again. You'll see at the bottom right here that it says um, formatted this file successfully. So we have um, a format uh, like kind of check right here that we've added to your repository to all of your lab assignments. So it makes it a little bit easier to make your code look a little bit nicer. So you don't have to like um, manually format everything uh, yourself. You can just click on uh, use command S or on PC, it might be control S or the equivalent of like kind of saving your file uh, to auto format for you. So that's a, a, an easy tip that you might find useful throughout the semester. All right, so that's uh, an overview of Rappelit. And just keep in mind that you can change the color scheme. You can move things around if you prefer. So I can you can just kind of like drag, like say if I want to drag the terminal console uh, down here, you can kind of move things around based on what you like. And finally, uh, when you want to submit your code, um, you'll be able to look at this Git tool at the bottom left. Uh, you can click on that, and you'll see that it has a connection to this GitHub repository that will um, kind of be in the format of 2023s slash lab number dash your GitHub username. And if you click on that, of course, it'll open the GitHub repository where you upload your code. 
Um, so an, a really cool thing about Repl.it is that you will be able to kind of write your commit message here. So say that I wanted to say finish lab one, and then you can just click on this commit all and push button to up upload all of your changes to um, GitHub. And you can see all the files that were changed here below. In this case, I only added one file. But any changes that you've made, if you've modified files or added new files or deleted them, it'll show up here. And then you'll know that once you click on this commit all and push button, it'll show up in your repository. Uh, and that way, once your um, lab is uploaded to GitHub, it will kind of kick off this automatic auto grader workflow. And once you um, see the auto grader workflow, um, over here in your repository, you'll actually be able to look at the results of your auto grader. So you can go into um, here, uh, you can actually go into like the actions tab within your repository. And then you'll see the workflow runs. Um, and then when you go into it, you can look at the auto grading. And when you have a green check, it means you got full credit. Um, and you can kind of examine what exactly um, failed or passed, and it'll show you the different tests that were run. So all the unit tests and each individual unit test. So this might also be helpful uh, with figuring out what's wrong with your code if there is something wrong. But in, a f in the next lab, I think we'll be showing you a little bit more about how to test your code and to debug your code. So you can leave that to the following lab for that. But that is an overview of how to get Replit set up and how it integrates with GitHub for submitting lab assignments for this class.